Hey guys, and welcome to this video on AVL insertion. So here we have our problem. It says create an AVL tree by inserting the following values in the order given. And we have the values here in green. They are 43, 69, 36, 5, 72, 26, 79, and 59. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're going to do is insert the value 43 into our tree. And then we're going to check the balance factor of the node, which is the right side, the, the right subtree minus the uh, left subtree. And the values must equal either negative 1, 0, or 1 in order for the tree to be considered balanced. All right. Um, also, just to let you guys know, AVL trees are just self-balancing binary search trees. All right. So next up, we're going to insert the value 69 into the tree. And since 69 is greater than uh, 43, we're going to insert it to the right of the tree. And we're going to need to check the balance factor. Um, I didn't check it for 43 because we didn't have any subtrees, so the balance factor was just 0 or 0 minus 0. Here we have uh, the balance factor for 43 is the right side minus the left side, or the right subtree minus the left subtree. So we get um, the balance factor of 1 minus 0, which equals 1. So that note there um, is still, or at least this subtree or the tree is still balanced. Now, uh, let's check 69. Of course, it doesn't have any nodes, so um, you know it just has a null here. So we get 0 minus 0, so the balance factor is uh, 0 for that subtree. All right. So let's insert the value 36. And since 36 is less than 43, we insert it to the left of the tree. And our tree is still balanced. Next up, we're going to insert the value 5. So 43 is greater than 5, so we're going to go to the left. And 36 is greater than 5, so we're going to go to the left again. And we're going to insert the value 5. Okay? Now you might want to check. Um, you know, you can't really tell just by looking at it. Maybe you can. But uh, the balance factor for 43 is the right side, which is 1. So we have our 1 node here. And the left side is 1, 2. So we get 1 minus 2, which equals negative 1. So um, our tree is still balanced. Uh, 36 here, we get the right side is 0 minus the left side, which is 1. So we get a negative 1 here. So it's still balanced. And of course, we get 0 for 5, and we get 0 for 69. All right. Next, thing, we're going to insert the value uh, 72. So 72 is greater than 43, and it's greater than 69. So we're going to insert the value 72 to the right of 69. Okay, it has a balance factor of 0. Uh, 69's balance factor will change to 1 minus 0. So just 1. And um, nothing changes for these two. But uh, for 43, the balance factor changes. It becomes uh, the right side 1, 2 minus the left side 1, 2. So it becomes 0 as well. Okay. So now we're going to insert the value 26 into our tree. So 26 is less than 43, so we go to the left. 26 is less than 36, so we go to the left. But 26 is greater than 5, so we're going to go to the right and insert 26 into our tree to the right of 5. And then we're going to check our balance factors again. Of course, this is 0 here. Um, nothing has changed for these two over here. The 5 now is the right minus the left, so the balance factor is 1. Right, you get 1 minus 0. And then here we get a balance factor of 0. There's nothing here. There's null right now. So we get 0 minus 1, 2. So 0 minus 2 is negative 2. And negative 2 is not negative 1, 0, or 1. So we have a problem here. All right. So we need to rebalance this. And we can do that using what's called the left-right rotation. Uh, left right rotation all right and I'm not going to actually do every single step here we're just going to show the after effects of applying the left right rotation and so what we're going to get is basically our 26 value is going to go all the way up to here and the 36 is going to come down to the right all right so I'm just going to erase this here and we're going to put 26 here and then we're going to put 36 here Okay, and you can see that it still has the AVL tree properties. Um, 
I'm sorry, it still has the binary search tree properties as well uh, because the right side is greater than the, um, the right side of the parent is greater than the parent node and the left side is less than the parent node, okay? So our tree is balanced now. Next up, we're going to insert the value 79. So 79 is greater than 43, so we go to the right. 79 is greater than 69, so we go to the right. And 79 is greater than 72, so we go to the right again. And we insert the value 79. So now here we have another problem. Um, we can see that the balance factor here for um, this subtree is the right side, which is 2. We get 1, 2, minus 0, which equals 2. And that's not negative 1, 0, or 1. So we need to do something here, and it's called the uh, left rotation, all right? And basically, it's just going to drop down this 69 here uh, to the left of 72. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to erase 72 here, put 79. I'm going to completely get rid of 79. And we're going to drop the 69 here, okay? And then we're going to uh, make sure we bring up that. 72 value okay and so now our tree is balanced and you can actually tell it's completely filled in for all the height levels and um, there's nothing below those levels so now we're going to insert uh, 59 and 59 is it's going to go to the right of 43 it's going to go to the left of 72 and it's going to go to the left of 69 and we're going to insert the value 59 here Okay, and we probably want to check to see if our tree is balanced. Um, I can already tell it is, but basically we're just going to have to check the uh, right side pretty much. Um, so let's see, starting from the root node, the left side is 1, 2, so, um, and the right side is 1, 2, 3, so we get uh, 3 minus 2, which equals 1. All right, and for 72, the left side is 1, 2, and the right side is 1. So we get um, here 1 minus 2, which equals negative 1, which is still balanced. And then uh, 69 is, of course, the uh, 0 minus 1. So the right side is 0, the left side is 1. So we get negative 1 here, 0 for 79, and 0 for 59. And, of course, 0 for 36, 0 for 5, and uh, 0 for 26. Okay, so thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be sure to leave a link to how to do a uh, left right rotation in the description below. And I will be sure to leave some more videos on AVL trees um, in that description as well. And if, let me know if you guys see any problems or any issues here. Please leave any comments you have, questions. I try my best to answer them. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Please leave lots of likes. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, uh, share it. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.